A very good evening to you from ANZ Stadium in Suva, Fiji. It's match day three of the OFC U20 Championship, and it's do or die this evening as Solomon Islands take on New Caledonia. Both teams still searching for their first win of the tournament, and it may even be too little too late, given that Fiji have won their third match in a row. They sit top of the table with nine points. There is just one point between these two teams. New Caledonia have lost twice, the Solomons have a draw and a defeat alongside their name. I'm Gordon Watson, your commentator for this evening. I'm joined by Indra Singh, as ever. And Indra, a fantastic game in prospect here. These two teams know what they have to do. It's a win or bust. <laughs> yes, thank you very much, Gordon. Welcome once again. And yes, we're expecting this. Before the tournament started, Gordy, this was one game that was picked out to be one of the crucial deciders, and it has become that. Regardless of what uh, points both teams are on, Solomon's on a point. Nicoldonia surprisingly yet to get a point in this tournament. These two teams have met uh, three times at this level, with the Solomon Islands winning all three of those encounters in 2001, 2007 and 2011. So the pre-match formalities almost complete. A handshake for peace takes place as the two sides prepare for their pre-match team photo. And we can turn our attention towards the match officials. Albert Maru of Papua New Guinea is joined by Folio Moyaki of Tonga, Sioni Chu of Tonga, and the fourth official is Avri Jacques of Tahiti. So quite remarkable, Indra, Solomon Islands haven't scored a goal and that has to change tonight just a reminder the match is coming up American Samoa taking on Vanuatu just after this match and then Solomon Islands clashing with the same side on Thursday at 2.30 and then the big one Vanuatu versus Fiji that could uh, well be a defining moment in the OFC U20 Championship as we look at the table Fiji 3 wins 9 points Vanuatu, a win and a draw, but a game in hand against uh, American Samoa. And uh, we look at the lineup. Now, New Caledonia have made a change. Thomas Schmidt is starting in goal. They line up with a 4-4-2, uh, but they've stuck with the diamond formation, although there has been some juggling. Pato de Romo, who has been playing on the left side of that midfield diamond, is now playing 
just in behind the front two of Waru and Oiramuan. For the Solomon Islands, it is uh, business as usual. They have a 4-2-1-3 formation, although there has been an adjustment here. Misitana Samani has come in to the left side of that front three with Dunstan Kwanafia taking up the pivotal role, replacing Obed Kevin. So we're almost ready to get uh, underway. The two skippers conferring, Pierre Kalma on your left and Philip Mango on your right for the Solomons. Very difficult to predict what will unfold here. We've seen a New Caledonia side characterised by physicality, organisation, and a Solomon Islands team that, as ever, is committed to playing expansive football, but they just uh, haven't clicked in front of goal and in wide areas from uh, their point of delivery. Yeah, Gordon, tonight here as we approach the evening in uh, Suva, the capital of Fiji Islands, I'd be very much interested to see Pato Di Cromo, the number eight for Nicaledonia, and also Dunstan Kunafia getting involved and having a battle royale there, even though in a bit of a different position, each of them. But these are the two players that do pick to be the difference here if either one of these teams needs to come away with maximum points. Yes, I was speaking to Solomon Islands right back, uh, Fred Barley, yesterday, the player from Malaita Kings. And he said that the team had not given up hope of qualifying for New Zealand. They understood that loss of uh, concentration at key moments in their first two games had put them in this position, but that there was no choice but to knuckle down and just try their best. Alan Peter with a touch on the ball. Misitana helps it on. Timothy Bunabo. Tried to find Atkin Kawa. Pierre Korma, the skipper for New Caledonia, hoists a long ball forward. Bonobo in a bit of a duel for possession with Sakelia. New Caledonia come up with it. Bakale. Rongasulia. Bakale looking at uh, some long options. Dunstan Quinafia made a run into space. It's now with Kawa. Bonobo. Rongosulia. Bacale. Very comfortable in possession, the Solomons. Here's Quinafia. Well, New Caledonia not seeing much of the ball in the opening moments. Well, they do now. That's poorly given away by the Solomons. It's with Jordan Adurele. Quinafia. Nice turn by him. He spots a gap. Heads for it. Still going, Quinafia. Good save by the goalkeeper. Joe Chimkari picks up the loose bit. Danger still not clear for New Caledonia. Bacale. They're all queuing up. Corner for the Solomons. A much better start there by the Solomon Islanders in this game, uh, Gordon. And looking at it already, as I was saying, Kunafia to play a key role, playing in a different position today. At Kinkawa, Joe Chimkari losing possession on the edge of the New Caledonia penalty area, and a counter attack is on. Parodic Romo launching it. Well. Rollins Misitana taking a big risk by kicking the ball away. Can 
Philip Mango have a better game here this afternoon? Well, I was talking to uh, Commons Manapi, the coach, about Philip Mango, and Manapi said to me that uh, this is a goalkeeper who, at some stage in the future, is going to be the number one choice for the national team. And uh, he said that despite the mistakes that he made, that's a wonderful piece of skill, despite the mistakes that were made in the defeat to Papua New Guinea, he has uh, faith in the player that he will come right. And it's his leadership skills that uh, have given him the captain's armband. Kwanafia. Looking for movement. There wasn't much of it. New Caledonia pop up with the ball. Now a chance. And uh, taken by the goalkeeper in question. Good confidence boost for him. Rongasulia. Samani. Bonobo. This is good from the Solomons. Lovely footwork from Kwanafia. Oh, that's beautiful play from him. The first touch from Samani was uh, too heavy. I apologise, that's uh, Joe Chimkari. Yeah, also just looking at it, Thomas Schmidt's getting the nod here this afternoon in place of the usual Joran Weimar, who started the past two games. And what a save he made to keep Nicoldonians in the game. Difficult to come into a campaign partway through for a goalkeeper. Quinafia really turning it on. Can't find a way through that grey and red wall of uh, defence. Schmidt's clearance. Sakilia with the throw. Madrelli's long ball was looking for Rafael Oremuan and he's shoved his opponent. Again, they've got to be careful with those sorts of uh, confrontations. Yeah, Roland Smithitan at the end of it. The receiving end rather, as we see him. There he goes. <laughs> A little bit of frustration there in the early stages for the Nickeldonians. It's also a battle because Nicaldonia at the bottom of the table uh, got in with two, uh, with two losses. Solomon's unfortunate loss to PNG and uh, through their own fault, I would rather say, because of the number of ch chances they created, the finishing not there. The same against Vanuatu and they played on match day two of the OFC and the 20 championships. This should, at some stage or the other, turn out to be a cracker of a game. Well, the Rover Jewel performance in the Solomon Islands, at least a complete one. They've got a corner here. See, that uh, sort of a cross was more hopeful than well conceived. Bala has it. It's a long range effort off target. Fred Bala in your picture there. First uh, came onto the international scene at the OFC U12 Festival of Football in Port Moresby in 2007. He's the only player from that festival side to make it into the under 20 national team and uh, carries this nickname the white ghost as it was explained to me by uh, one of his teammates Alex uh, Wymora and the story behind that is in fact that uh, because Bala is so deft he's uh, likened to a spectre and is able to uh, win possession back for his team. It's also uh, amazing to note that Comins Manapi also wielded an X after that first game and from the starting level has gone to the bench is um, also very very interesting Alfie Chacha. Yes Timothy Bonabo has uh, come in and made that left back position his own 
as uh, the Solomons have juggled their uh, side in search of the perfect formula. It's a good header from Jackie Wanane. So while we are at this, uh, this game here, Gordon just being in uh, the capital yesterday, a lot of talk about the OFC U20 Championship and a lot of talk about uh, the darlings that they are classing them in our American Samoa. Well, what a team they have turned out to be so far. And I think in particular of the goalkeeper, Frederick uh, Mayava. He's a stoic character and uh, a true leader. In every sense of the word, he might not carry the captain's armband like uh, his counterpart, Philip Mango, but uh, he leads from the front. And if you don't have the best team and you don't have the best players in the tournament, you can certainly have the best attitude, and Fred Mayava falls into that category. Joseph Atale takes a tumble, and a free kick, I believe, has been uh, awarded. it again he did uh, skip away mm. well Judge Mkari is uh, not one you associate with um, being too cynical in defence but he was guilty that time that's a nice piece of play still going goal kick very good work from Joseph Atale sorry got it. what I've noticed in the past two games that these two teams have played they have done most things right the only the area or the aspect of game that has let them down is the finishing at times where they've created those chances well Ob you're quite right um, my view of that is uh, similar to yours that Obed Kevin who started the first two games for the Solomon Islands has been somewhat unlucky as we see Quinafia who's replaced him play it wide to Bicale could have got a corner decided to keep it in Bala joins the attack useful cross the goalkeeper's punched it. Well, he should have perhaps caught it. Bonobo, long-range shot. It's not bad. It's a very good effort. And Thomas Schmidt has uh, been equal to the task. Yeah, there is a good left uh, footer coming in for Bonobo. There you go. Straight into Thomas Schmidt. Yeah, he put his foot right through the ball. It was accurate. Had a bit of power on it. Unfortunately, it was at a good height for the goalkeeper. And this is a good move. Sakelia cuts it back. Chance. What a goal. Rafael Oiramuan has given New Caledonia a deserved lead. One of the goals of the tournament so far, God, and what a drive that was from Oiramuan. It was a superb finish. Philip Mango could do nothing. Excellent build up. Sakelia had all the time in the world to cut it back and. Item one slammed it past Mango. 1 0 for New Caledonia. 12 minutes in. Yeah, Oroman will be happy with that as we see him there giving the signs to his goalkeeper saying, All's good. We are by a goal. How will the Solomon Islands respond? That's the key question. I can't for the life of me recall uh, a time at this age group level where the Solomon Islands have finished bottom of a competition. They'd be left with just one point from three games. They would, uh, of course, play American Samoa next and then finish up with a match against Fiji. And as we were alluding to before, uh, this American Samoa side have shown plenty of signs that they're not going to be pushovers. Rongasulia, switch of play to Bala. Yeah, this has been the Solomon Islands downfall. They, they do most things right, as I mentioned, but that final ball that is needed for the strike force or strikers to finish it off 
It's either wide, it's either to the defenders, or it's either cheaply given away. The final third of the opposition. Yes, it was uh, a poor ball from Bala. Passes to Gromo, who's uh, had a haircut, which makes him uh, a little less easy to identify. <laughs> well cut out by Alan Peter. Bacale loses out to New Caledonian opponent. I think that was Joseph Atale. And it is that uh, Nippy and Konafia who has been a thorn in this New Caledonian defence so far, but unfortunately they have not been able to capitalise on the chances or the little chances they have created so far. But Kunafia will be key if he can get to combine with his uh, forwards up front. There's no Obed Kevin today for the side. He's out injured. So, a free kick for the Solomon Islands. Quite some way out. And Bala decided to go for himself. He had uh, six teammates on the edge of the 18-yard box and chose to shoot himself. He's getting one or two funny looks, uh, not surprisingly. Schmidt's goal kick is somewhat miscued. Sakelia has it, plays it forward for Oiramuan. He muscles his way into the back of Roland Smithitana. He's going to get uh, a talking to from Albert Maru. And I think the player sensed that and yeah. decided it might be uh, the better part of Vela to just uh, join Missitana on the floor. As we watch that ball there, he does walk straight into the back of Roland Smithitana, puts his hand up and realizes the referee is walking towards him, decides to go down. So match day three, Gordon, in the FC Under-20 Championships. And it's uh, Fiji on top at the moment with nine. Yes, they're looking good. I have to say, I think it's going to come down to that game on uh, Thursday against Vanuatu. It could be a very interesting encounter. Well, whichever of the two teams can keep their head are likely to prevail. And that's uh, it's actually a key question, uh, whether both teams can uh, keep their cool. Yeah, and uh, I'm pretty sure that on Thursday, come match day four, we'll have this uh, crowd at Lodala backing both teams equally. You can't see which team will have the more crowd support here. Bacale spots Bala in a forward position. Kawa for Bala. Peter. Bacale, he's a player who's impressed me. Here he is again. Patient build up from the Solomons. Kari, Bala, Kawa. Now the Solomons just need to be patient and uh, hold on to the ball. Well, they've lost it. But New Caledonia uh, temporarily down to 10 players because Rafael Roy Ramon is uh, off receiving treatment. It looks like he's ready to come back into the match. Didier Simani at the end of the foul there. The Solomon Islanders. Isitana Samani. Yeah, Kalmer's free kick launched forward, headed away by Bacale. Picked up again by Kalmer. Sakilia. Oiramon showing no signs of his uh, injury from moments ago. Philip Mango taking no risks. Well, Philip Mango told me that uh, one of his heroes is uh, Michael Casillas, the uh, Real Madrid goalkeeper, Spanish international captain, and more locally, uh, Shadrock Ramoni, 
the Solomon Islands international goalkeeper. He considers him something of a mentor and uh, a very good training partner. Yeah, also talking about the Olympic playoffs, etc. Get to see most of these players in the next Olympic playoffs. Yes, of course, the under-23 age bracket for the Olympic Games comes up. The Olympic uh, Games, of course, like the FIFA World Cup, will be in Rio de Janeiro two years from now. And the vast majority of these players will be, uh, of course, eligible. It will be that much tougher, though, to qualify because, of course, uh, one team that's not here that will be is New Zealand, the hosts of uh, the FIFA Under-20 World Cup next year. Yeah, and uh, after we spoke that other on match day two, uh, Gordon, just looking at the calendar itself, you got the Under-17 Championships, OFC Under-17 Championships, the Olympic Playoffs, the Under-20 World Cup, the specific games, the women's uh, event. <laughs> what a ball. That's a great ball. Samani's cross. It's a good one. Curry. Kwanafia. Good defending from New Caledonia in numbers. That's arguably the best cross we've seen of the tournament from uh, the Solomon Islands, and it was Misitana Samani who supplied it. Yeah, just looking at it, I think Kunafia could have taken it first time when it did fall to him. So look at it. Comes to him. There. Turns. And then just shoots wide. Again, the finishing for the Solomon Island is not what they would expect it to be. They spend a lot of time on the training pitch trying to perfect it. Hasn't worked so far. But the cross, no doubt, it is something that they'll be happy with, that is sort of working for them. Well, there was nothing wrong with the supply line uh, that time. We've been uh, a bit critical of the Solomon's delivery from wide areas, but that was perfect from Misitana Samani. And uh, when it is uh, that perfect, the service, you have to demand that the finishing is equally so. Lovely footwork from Kwanafia. Bacale. Oh, not far away. Yeah. Delightful strike. As we see Kwanafia again involved in it, it displays it across to Bacale. Looks up and he'll drive. He takes a good shot there, just, just over the crossbar. And they, they'll have a boost from this because they have a period of domination over the Nicoladonians for the past uh, three minutes. Rongasulia. Well played. Atkinkawa. Away by Sikilia. Bonobo. Tries to go through the legs of uh, Samane. Away by Kalma. That's uh, poor. Rongasuli has picked it up. Misitana. Peter. Bala in that forward position. Gets a throw in. Or does he? The game just starting to open up. It's opening up before Bacale. Kari. Bacale. Easy one for Schmidt. The match just starting to get stretched. You see again Kari. And plays it for Bacale. Bacale makes a good run. As you mentioned, Gordon, earlier on. Bacale has impressed in this tournament so far. Well, the Solomons are getting more opportunities on goal, and Rollins Misitana took out Pato de Gromo, and it's a free kick for New Caledonia. He's a lucky, lucky chap there. But then Pato de Gromo was away. He took the risk, brought him down. Mango, you see from your picture, setting up his wall, assessing the threat. Well, New Caledonia have put four players in and around the penalty spot. A fifth has arrived to add to the 
mix. And again, it's a long range shot that uh, is nowhere near the target. Joseph Itale. As we watch it, Itale there drives it. Could have played it with his attackers in the box. Kawa losing out to Atale. Well, it's been uh, very much a New Caledonian lead obtained against the run of play. They've been more clinical in front of goal, but that's uh, just about all you can say. Paradikromo. Tried to bring Samane into the game. Sakelia stayed forward for New Caledonia. There's the coach, Kamali Fitialiata. Pierre Kalman, nice touch from him. And Didier Samane just opened up his body. It was the wrong option to take, and Missy Tana Samani. Very gratefully wins possession for his team. Konafia gets the free kick and a handshake from Pierre Kalma, the guilty party. So numbers in the box for the Solomons. Akinkawa making a late run, but Bala can't get the ball into the penalty area. Well, that's broken kindly for Bacale. Kari, Bala. Bacale, can he get a ball in? He cuts it back to nobody in particular. That's a useful ball. First touch was a poor one. It comes off Sakelia. Just here in the background now, cries of go solo go. Again, uh, they get into a good position. They give the ball away cheaply. This time under no pressure. Unforced error once more by the Solomon Islanders. Cummins Menafi on the bench. Not, not a happy coach right now. Samani puts it forward. Pata de Gromo can't find where they won. Italo tried to pick it up. It's a bit scrappy at the moment. Kari. Kawa spotted a forward run by Bacale. Still with the Solomons. They trail by goal to nil. We're in the 27th minute. Shokin Curry has also uh, done some good work in the past uh, two games. We've watched him. Uh, continuing to put in those hard yards in this game against the Nicaldonians. Well, the Solomons have uh, played well enough with the ball until they get into the top third, and then it becomes rather more mysterious to them. conundrum that they're going to have to solve here tonight. The 
It's uh, been nearly 210 minutes without a goal for the Solomons in this tournament. They all get it by doing that. Well, when you look back at uh, teams of the past that had uh, the likes of Batram Suri, Commons Manapi himself, Alec Mai Mai, Benjamin Tatori, you do wonder whether or not uh, that was something of a golden generation. These things do go in cycles, of course. It almost seems to me that this uh, Solomon Islands under 20 side is uh, comprised largely of creative midfielders. No out and out strikers per se, which is uh, perhaps why Dunstan Kwanapi has taken up that role in the forward line tonight. Instead of in the wide areas, he's uh, played wide left, wide right, and then tonight he's uh, playing in the centre. Marian Waru rolls it all the way back to Eugene Sakelia. Sakelia again, Pierre Kalma. Jordan Adrele gives it away. This looks promising for the Solomons. Quanafia. Bacale's got Bala to his right. There's three options in the box for Bala. Well, they're almost overcooking it. The Solomons have got a corner. Cries of Go Solo Go return to ANZ Stadium. Well, Bala's rather fortunate to get away with that. You can't beat the first man, you're not likely to uh, create a goal scoring chance. He's had his rehearsal. Now he can put the ball in the box. Well, he can't. Fred Muller, highly rated uh, amongst the Oceania footballers and he's present in his under-20 cha under championship, OFC under-20s. He's just, at times, over-trying, I guess. And that is getting to him because some of the balls that he's been delivering for the Solomon Islands attackers has not been what we would expected him to do. No, and that's how it, uh, that, that's how it looks. Sometimes uh, this age group level how do you try just <laughs> the worse it becomes for you Eugene Sakili making a forward run Didier Samani is dispossessed by Jared Rongasulia that can Kawa surveys his option spots Bala in space on the far right hand side Cardi's forward well no mean effort really you have to test the goalkeeper Fred Bala again getting it and he looks up, he tries to deliver it, makes it look like a cross but in actual fact he might have seen the goalkeeper just off his line as well. He's worked hard in defence at times but just his attack play has not really worked wonders for the Solomon under 20 team. Adrele. Pato de Groma, that's a very good ball. The goal scorer, Rafael Oedemon, gives it away cheaply. Back heel from Bonobo, Bala. Jared Rongasulia keeps the ball moving to the left. Samani, Bonobo, Kawa, Rongasulia. Solomon's building a rhythm. Lusitana. And again, as you said earlier, Indra, the final pass was wayward. Uh, play has broken down kindly for the Solomons. Fowler's cross. That man on the screen right now will need to talk to Bala 
He's getting himself into some good positions as he ties his boots up. He's getting himself in some really good positions. He's, he's a good player. But just those final balls, that, that those money balls into the box are not working. Solomon still goalless after all this time. And you don't associate that with the Solomon Islanders in the Oceania football. Goalless after 200 odd minutes of football. for the under 20 championships also heating up that's amongst the Fijian players with three of them on two goals each well that's something that's going to have to continue at least for the next two games if you're a Fijian fan the promised land of a FIFA under 20 World Cup berth is on the horizon you can almost see it you can almost taste it if you're a Fijian football fan Another group of supporters who will also be tracking that centre of Vanuatu. They had a very close run thing in the OFC Champions League with Amical. They came so close to qualifying for the FIFA Club World Cup in Morocco in December. Ultimately, that campaign failed. There is uh, a sense that qualification for the FIFA Under-20 World Cup would uh, more than make up for that disappointment. I guess it will be revealed on Thursday when Vanuatu take on Fiji, or at least <laughs> that picture will become a lot clearer. American Samoa might have something to say about that this evening. Indeed, they might. American Samoa have impressed everybody relative to their own strengths. Pierre Korn is pulled up, by the way. Play continues. Jackie Wanane. Tidy work from Atale. Paro de Gromo. Atale again. Philip Mango just read it in time. And that's where New Caledonia have just had it over the Solomons. Although they haven't perhaps had as much of the ball as their opponents, when they have had it, they've used it uh, to more dangerous effect going forward. Rafael Oiramon works very, very hard without the ball. And this uh, experiment to put Pato de Romo just in behind two strikers seems to be working. Wait a moment. It's a free kick. Could well be a card. Yeah, again, the goal scorer moves away and he just gets brought down by Roland Misitana. On the counter, Nicoladonia have really caused the Solomon's defense some problems. Solomon's doing all the good work. Wasting the opportunities, Nicoldoni have taken one. They'll try and, uh, try and get this on target and try and double their lead. Philip Mango sets his wall. Atale. That's a good ball in. Chance. Goes begging. Oh, well, it was offside anyway. And Didier. Samane will be relieved to see that because uh, otherwise this translates as a terrible miss. There's the ball played, yes, and it looks like Pierre Kalma was the player offside. Nicely played by Pierre Kalma. Sakilia. Samani. Pato de Gromo. Oh, he's given it away. Here wins a free kick. Yeah, this is not the last tournament to last game for Kunafia. They'll be watching him at the age group level. The way he is heading, we got another James Naka, but from Suri Elik, my, my product in the line. Well, Thomas Schmidt thinks enough of uh, Kunafia's abilities. Uh, 
Okwanafian, a long range shot. Kept in by Schmidt. No, it's not, it's a corner. Well, I thought he had uh, done enough to keep that in. Turns out he hasn't. Solomons have a corner. They're not a big team, and we have remarked upon this before. They haven't got a lot of height in their side. Which I suppose if you can't deliver the ball in first time of asking, or second for that matter, you're not really going to give players of any height something to uh, jump at. Okay. That's three in a row now. There you go. He knows. Fred Bala. There are times with the best of the players having off there, and Fred Bala is one of them. He's a young kid, needs to put his head down work on bettering himself and not let things like that affect him because he keeps on thinking of it he'll keep on playing a part on his mind as his con game continues uh, got it. quite right i think if there's to be a, another corner on that side of the pitch uh, fred Bala would be just as well to take it short barnabo you look at the way that Fred Bala was striking those uh, two corners he's trying to catch it with the outside of his right foot perhaps to swing it in to Thomas Schmidt's near post and in doing that you have to be bang on the money and he hasn't which is why it's uh, gone out and hit the side netting on that side each and every time Bacale, Bala Jared Rongasulia with some fast feet. Still going Rongasulia. Cardi. Shot was poor. Can't shoot through a player. And it just seemed that Tochim Cardi, in lieu of options, thought, well, if I hit this, we might get something out of it. Meanwhile, Sakili is making a break down this right hand side. Punches it through for Marian Waru. Has a go. Well off target. Order one was in the uh, penalty area, waiting perhaps for a cross. You can see that at the top of your picture is making his way in there, but Wadu fancy to go. Manane gives it away. For the amount of times that uh, New Caledonia have lost possession in their own third in that transition area, they haven't really been punished at all, have they? They haven't been at all uh, gone just looking at it every time they do. So here's an example, a working example of it. There you go. Off the hook. And they, they must be thinking, we can make errors here because Solomon Islanders will just give it back to us. Not sounding critical because these are still the young kids who of come course. through. I mean, they have a lot, lot of uh, learning to do, a long way to go. And this, some of these players in the Solomon Islanders setup will become great players in Oceania. But as the games progress and as the qualification in the World Cup hopes uh, are in front of them, they've got to at least deliver something. Yes, you're quite right. It's uh, something we have to be clear about that uh, I hope we're not being too critical of the two teams as we try and create the narrative for you, the viewer back home. Offside flag goes up against Māori and Waru. Yeah, Rollins, Misitana, Timothy Bonabo, uh, to some extent, if you look at Jokem Kari, definitely Dunstan Konafia, Misitana Samani, Fred Bala. They have played a good game, a good tournament, but it's just the final balls, the finishing, the combinations, the 50-50 balls that has really let these players down. Yes, they've had good width, and... There's no doubt about it, uh, they're very, very good on the ball in this area of the pitch. It's just when we get to the borderline between thirds that uh, it becomes rather more complicated for the Solomons. Wait, Ramon gets the wrong side of uh, Alan Peter. He can score here. Good save by Philip Mango. Oh, and it somehow stays out of the Solomons' net. 
Well, I think Philip Mango is very entitled for a bit of luck in this scenario, but uh, Raphael Oiramon can hardly believe it. He showed Peter Allen a clean pair of heels. Rollins Misitana couldn't get there. Good save by Mango. <laughs> I mean, he had his hand in the air celebrating. It wasn't to be. Well, it would have been too cruel for the Solomons. They're not out of uh, trouble just yet. Maria Waru has a shot. Sakilia shoved off the ball by Jared Rongasulia. No foul, says the referee, but given straight to Pato de Gromo. Yeah, he couldn't release that ball. Two of his players were in an offside position, Pato de Gromo. Pierre Kalmer. Nice play from the New Caledonian skipper. Accomplished work. Didier Samane. Knocks it forward. Pato de Gromo. Goes around Peter Allen. Still going. Eugene Sakilia's cross. Useful one. Good effort. Very good effort from Joseph Vitale. They're hitting the target. So we're in the 45th minute. New Caledonia lead by a goal to nil. The goal scorer, Rafael Oiramuan. And uh, one minute of additional time minimum to be played at ANZ Stadium. It's been a free-flowing match. There's uh, been a fair share of uh, errors, near misses. But New Caledonia be more than happy with the way that things are going. Their coach, Kamali Patia Liata, will be uh, satisfied with what he's seen. And if they can minimise their mistakes in their own third, they might well feel they can win the match. Fred Bala has run across from that other side as soon as the free kick was awarded. Can he make amends? Can he, can, can he get something that will really put his levels up high, his spirit up high before he heads into the break? And his self-confidence as well in set piece. But then he's been told to move away. <laughs> well, that's, uh, that's a good sign. Yeah, uh, Timothy Bacali will take this. That's a good sign, though, for Bala. Yeah. That uh, he continues to have the willingness to put himself on the line each and every time. Yeah, some other players would have put their hands in the air and said, you take it, I'm not taking this anymore. Mm. He's not going to hide. <laughs> Clearly got a lot of character. Bacali, all not far away from the target. Solomon's inching closer and closer. Good technique. But 225 minutes without a goal for the Solomons. As Albert Maru brings the first half to a close. Frustration for Commons Manapi's young Mamula side. But for New Caledonia, it uh, smiles. They've been worth their one goal advantage. Quite possibly could have been two up. We'll be able to look back at the highlights of uh, an intriguing first half. Yeah, it started as early as the second and Solomon's come out firing and it was our player Konafia who did test Schmitz earlier on. Great save by Schmitz. And then uh, eventually, as we watch him there, plays a pass, receives it again and just takes it in the box, drives. Schmitz just punches it away. Twelfth. This was Nicoldonia's chance. What a great ball there. Played back in in a first time shot. Aruman. Well, that was a goal made in Numia, wasn't it? It uh, really was special. Oiramuan and Sakilia combining twice. You can see the delight of the New Caledonian bench. Philip Mango couldn't stop that. Neither could Ika Casillas for that matter. <laughs> Yeah, came the 19th, and this time Solomon Islanders trying their best to get back into the game. Simani plays a ball in, and this time Kunafia. I think over here Kunafia just took one touch too many. You see, look at him. Tries to turn away and just shoots wide. 31st. The Solomon Islanders come back again. Fred Bala on the far side. And his cross test over the crossbar. Made it look like a cross. 40th, Nicaldonia come back. This was the one. 
Oh. Money and Wairu really fancied his chances from this angle. He was running out of uh, target. And then uh, Rafael Oiramon got the other side of the defender. Produces a really good save, Philip Mango, and that ball spins off Oiramon's head. And doesn't end up in the back of the net. That one bounce, that one bounce, there you go, on the line and away. 44th, they still come back, Nicoldonian, trying to get their second one. And uh, not a bad shot. Joseph Atale with the acrobatic effort. Awkward one for him, took a bit of a funny bounce. Philip Mango was uh, more than a match. Sakilia did well there to set that up. So some happy uh, New Caledonian fans. And uh, half-time, New Caledonia 1, Solomon Islands 0. Rejoin us shortly for the second half.
Welcome back to ANZ Stadium. Half time in the game between Solomon Islands and New Caledonia. New Caledonia lead by a goal to nil. Courtesy of Rafael Oiramuan. Could well be 2 0. He had another chance that uh, nearly ended up in the back of the Solomon's net, but for a bit of luck that Philip Mango was arguably due. And we've had uh, a good bit of fun here at the stadium at half time with uh, the cameras picking out people in the crowd. I'm not sure if you can see that. Uh, courtesy of the live stream that you're enjoying, but uh, there's one or two familiar faces from the USP. You may well be from your hometown that are here tonight and they're certainly enjoying it, being spotted by the camera and uh, being played out on the big screen here at uh, the city end of ANZ Stadium. Indra, Solomon Islands have got to, got to score a goal shortly. The, the, the only thought I'm thinking will be running through their mind is what else we got to do to finish it and to get that much needed goal? Well, they got to improve on their finishing because they've done everything else right but get that ball into that goal mouth and score. And on the other side, Nicaldonia would be looking at getting their first victory in this competition and uh, getting themselves off the bottom of the ladder. <laughs> Who would have thought heading into match day three mm. it would have been Nicaldonia at the bottom? Well, two things that seem to be working in New Caledonia's favour. First of all, the decision to put Michael Pato de Gromo uh, playing in that hole just behind the front two seems to be working. And any time that uh, the New Caledonian back four give the ball away, they're not being punished for it. No, they're not, as we said in the first half, uh, Gotti. Once they give it away, they have so much confidence that Solomon's won't pose a threat because just just been wasteful. The other thing that we talked about uh, with regard to the Solomon Islands was uh, they lack an out-and-out goal scorer, somebody to... You know, have the confidence and the ruthlessness to say, right, I'm going to hit this first time and it's going to be on target. Yeah, and as you mentioned, there's some creative midfielders. Maybe they need to take this game to the Nicaldoni and say, we'll take the compound and do what the strikers need to do. Joseph Itale on the attack against Bala. Oh! oh. Well, similar to what Nicaldoni faced against Fiji. Yes, Joseph Itale was riding a fine line there. You got the impression that he was maybe fishing for a penalty decision. Look at this. Bala took a risk. Tale sensed it. And Albert Maru wasn't going to uh, be playing ball with that. Kale. Atkin Kale. Oh, and a chance. He got it. Oh, well, right attitude. And Dunstan Konafia. Yeah, he might have heard us to say, let's just, just take a shot, take a drive, take an attempt. And he does that as the Nicaldonian defense failed to clear it. There you go, first time shot. Just deflected of the defense, a corner kick for Solomon Islands. Nope, the referee's overruled it. Yeah. Kick. Well, that's interesting. I'm not sure what the uh, thought processes were there. Looked to me that uh, it was a corner kick. in that holding role in midfield. Here he is again, Atale. Mario, joue, fais jouer, Mario. Mango. Oh, he slips. Gets away with it. Joachim McCarty picks it up. That's nice. Quinafia. Good switch and play. That can count here on the right, taking on the New Caledonians himself. No end product. But the attitude has changed. They've slipped up again. Yes, yeah, we look at it here again. Uh, but what's happening is uh, the New Solomon Islanders now are taking the direct route. As Alec Kikawa tries his luck. But they're taking the direct route, and that is how they might end their goal drought at the under 20 championships. Launching another attack. Atkin Kawa playing out on the right. Konafia. Konafia looks like he's drifted somewhat towards the 
right. Playing more on the right now in the second half. Yes, and it looks as though he's been given orders to uh, express himself freely. Bala. At least it's on target. It's an improvement. Thomas Schmidt in no hurry to get things going again. Not with his team's up by goal to nil. Solomon. Cardi taking on the defence himself. Well, whether or not it produces something for them is well, the Sully are going all the way. The shot, deflection, and ball, free kick. Whether or not uh, the Solomon Islands do get on the score sheet, you can expect the next 10 to 15 minutes to have you on the edge of your seat. It looks as though Commons Manapi is sent to a side right. Get out there, get on the ball, start showing what you can do in terms of your skills, your tricks, and let's see if we can open up this new Caledonian side. My, my, my. Dunstan Manapi is standing over the ball this time to try and take the free kick with uh, Atkin Kawa. Well, this is the uh, end of the stadium that Donsi Kwanafia missed that open goal against Vanuatu. He would dearly love to make up for that here. What can the Solomon Islands pocket battleship produce from this free kick? There's eight in the New Caledonian wall. The player either side of it. All 11 players are back for the New Caledonians. Akin Kawa hits the wall. Bonobo. Look at this run here by Peter Allen. Lovely footwork from Quinafia. Too close to the goalkeeper for the cross. Lovely to watch though, he left uh, his markers in his wake. Nobody hitting the six yard box though to take advantage of the cross. Yeah, at least they're going and they're hitting the target now. That's a good sign. They about to bring on Leo Limix, number four, the Solomon Islanders. Yes, it really is uh, that moment in the tournament for the Solomons where they just have to get on with it. They're drowning here in terms of uh, the qualification picture. New Caledonia have a foot on their head. And they're pushing them under the water. So the only choice the Solomons have got now is to fight their way out of it. Yeah, a loss here to the Solomon Islanders, we could say, very, very, very slim chance. Well, they'll be gone, in fact, Andrew. Yeah, they, they have only a point, isn't it? That's right, yeah, points. If they have a point after three games, the most they can get is seven. With Fiji on nine, that's Curtains. The Collins Manapi's team. Seven. If this game ends in a draw, Nickeldonia will be on one, Solomon's will be on two. They still both gone. That's right. Yeah. So the analogy I used of uh, the drowning man, they could both drown together yeah. in that instance. This is a very common saying amongst the local football teams here in Fiji. Uh, Gordon, I'm going, I'll take you with you. <laughs> or with me rather, sorry, but my apologies. But yeah, I'll take you with me. So that might just happen here. Corner for New Caledonia. Tries it into the far post. Oh, gets it away. Part of the Bromo's shot. Uh, flies at the top of the running track and was that uh, far off target. Limix. I wonder who's going to replace. That's the key question. Looks like Red Muller. 
Perhaps Fowler's got an injury. He's not joining in this attack. And Lapita, centre half with the cross. Well, Thomas Schmidt had to make sure that his handling was spot on there. Yeah, it's the breeze here at the uh, oval here at Ovala. Tala. This is a good run and a chance for New Caledonia. Lack the power. A let off for the Solomons. They have to get this ball forward. Fred Muller's worn. Look at him the way he's walking. Now he jogs, tries to jog back to his position. Could be an injury. Well, he needs to be careful because he'll be keeping uh, on onside. Didier Simane, his cross is straight at Philip Mango. I know it hasn't really been Philip Mango's tournament, Andrew, but for me, I think there's a goalkeeper there. Yep. He, uh, he's got the height, and that hasn't always been the case for Solomon Islands goalkeepers. Patrick Romo, just wide. Remember Samir's back, uh, the Solomon Island international. Felix Ray, was it? Felix Ray, yes. Yeah, played a number of games for some of the clubs in Fiji. What a goalkeeper he was. Sort of had magnetic hands. It's very hard to get things past him. Yep. Here, here's the change you spoke of, Indra. Yeah, Fred Muller's off. Boya Lemix is his replacement. Difficult evening for Fred Bala. He's got a very, very bright future in front of him. He's got to work hard. Yes. Learn, learn from this tournament, isn't it, buddy? Yeah, absolutely. He told me that uh, his ambition was to play in the OC Nations Cup and OC Champions League one day. And I'm sure, like all of the other targets he set for himself in age group football, he will achieve them. Well, let's put it this way. When the entire team's not playing well, you can't say <laughs> you're the only one to be pinpointed for that because his other teammates haven't been flash either. That's right. So you stand and fall as a group. It's a team sport. Indeed. Solomons have had problems defending aerial set plays. Oh, oh and he's missed it. Philip Mango. Only flap it away. Attacking uh, force for the Solomon Islands. Ball whipped over to the far post and uh, it's too far. some interesting games as well. Thursday, here at the Ventum venue in Suva. Ball by Panapia. Interesting cross. Samani. Touch was too heavy. Wiedermann was coming back from an offside position, so checked his run, just held the line. Three good games, Fiji Vanuatu, potential decider. 
winner of the championship if Kanafia gets put down. They get American Sam, B and G. Johan Adele made uh, contact with the ball, but you can't make tackles from behind these days. Kalamaru is on top of that. Uh, uh, Solomon's, uh, Solomon's in uh, P and G, isn't it? American Samoa is against Solomon's taking on American Samoa yeah. next. Uh, they finish up with a match against Fiji. Long range uh, free kick, easy one for Thomas Schmidt. Maybe, maybe they might fancy their chances, both of them. Let's see who, who they play for the wooden spoon. But American Samoa will have a lot to say about that later on tonight. Rupeni Lulu, coach of American Samoa, Mayava, the goalkeeper. Yeah, he certainly has a lot to say. And as you pointed out uh, in the interview with an article on FC.com, that he is the nephew of Brian Lima, the former Samoan international. Well, you talk about uh, Fred Mayava. Uh, his character, and he's very forthright. Found that to be so. Oh, the flag stayed down. That was a genuine chance. Really isn't going Solomon Islands way, is it? Waddle, the New Caledonia. It's away from Kawa. Plays it through for Joseph Atale. The mix. Made a decent challenge. It's gone uh, Solomon Islands way. Substitution coming up for the French speaking team. By the look of it. Here's Jared from the Sulia. Boya Lemix. That's a good ball. And that's a cynical foul. Jackie Wanane took Kansi uh, Kwanafia out. Etkin Kawa has taken the responsibility of set piece plays. Uh, start of the second half and again he's standing with the ball about to whip in this free kick from the broadcast then try and get that much needed goal Carlo takes it that's a good ball on the chance Alan Peter, who was underneath it, it was a free header. New Caledonia completely missed it, took the rise off the ball for the moment. Kawa. Wild swing corner for the Solomons. Ball, Ellen Peter, and then coming through, Etkin Kawa just couldn't drive it into the goal. Well, these limited words to describe what's happening with Solomon <laughs> Islands finishing. Venezuela coming to life. Manafi is dropping deeper to pick up the ball. Etkin Kawa to bring a left back into play. It's Timothy Bonabo. 
Samani. Rongasulia. Cardi. Looking to set himself up for the shot. Quinafia. There's a shot, takes a deflection. Corner. But well, ANZ Stadium is willing the Solomon Islands team to get on the score sheet. Corner's been taken quickly. Commons Manapi has thrown one of his centre halves uh, further forward, I think. They're going to try and overload these uh, two lines that uh, New Caledonia have got set up to defend. There's no use uh, keeping a back four. You may as well throw players forward and search for gaps and potentially a goal. opening up here on the right. Kawa. Kale. You can see what he's trying to achieve. And oh, good save by Schmidt. Chance. It's in. At long last. <laughs> the Solomons are level. Kawa. ANZ Stadium has gone utterly preserved on the broadcast side. <laughs> Students from the local university enjoyed the moment. Good save there by Schmidt, but the finish this time by Kawa ends up in the back of the net. The Solomons labours and search for a goal is over. There's more to do. They have to go on and win the game to stay alive. Otherwise, both these teams can forget about the FIFA Under-20 World Cup. Yeah, it's very interesting that they finally have got the goal that they wanted and after 220 odd minutes as you played in the first half, it's amazing that the scenes of jubilation on the Solomon Islands bench and the players on the pitch. Finally, finally. Well, Josh Watapil in the meantime has come on for Marian Waru. So an attacking substitution for New Caledonia. Kamali Fitia Liata obviously thinking that uh, the best way to get out of this situation is to keep attacking his uh, optic of fresh legs in the top third. Here's the goal scorer. Kanafi just turned into Tramley, snapping away, fighting for everything. Now Atale, leg stays down. What an atmosphere we've got at ANZ Stadium. The noise after the goal is uh, just like Lawson Tummer. Who's to say they won't go on and win this match? Team in yellow and blue. Kalma, back to Schmidt. Fell for Schmidt's there. Brilliant save. And the follow up by Atu Kalma was brilliant. Oh, he might have had a free kick there. Kalma. Yes, Thomas Schmidt's had an almost faultless game. He made a great save from the first shot. This match now end to end. Two teams fighting for their very survival in this competition. Twenty-two and a half minutes remain in normal time. Here's Loyola Mix. Alan Peter, confident switch of play. Well, that is uh, 
what we're witnessing, isn't it? A return of confidence now that they've got the goal. Now that they've got that monkey off their back. Oh, that's uh, given away. Grafia. Masulia. Long range shot. Good save by Schmidt. And he grabs it at the second ask. Thomas Schmidt having a wonderful game for the Solomons. Uh, yeah. Sorry, New Caledonia. <laughs> yeah, great shot there. Thomas Schmidt just palms it away in the second occasion. He did take it well. Very good save. Sakelia. Still going, Sakelia. He's got three in the box to aim at. Headed away by Misitana. Longasilia picking it up uh, very deep in his own half. Good release for Atale. Can't keep Cario off the ball. Now, Solomons on the counter. They need numbers in the box. Curry held onto the ball too long. It doesn't matter. Peter Allen shot. Worth the go from the centre half. He had an option to his right. You defined it correctly. It seems like we're sitting at Lost Tama right now, Gordy. <laughs> well, I'm just pointing out as yeah. well, uh, injury on the far side. There suddenly seems to be uh, 50 or so Solomon Island supporters that weren't there before. And they're running up and down at the cement embankment side of this ANZ Stadium every time Solomon Arms is on attack. Perhaps they can sense that their luck is about to change. That's a good ball. That can cover. Straight into the hands of Schmidt. Well, for every step forward, it's two steps back at times. But there's plenty of time on the clock. Just under 20 minutes to go. And we're New Caledonia in the first half. We're looking more likely of the two teams to uh, get a couple of goals. The second half has been all about Solomons and their goal scoring threat. Here's Patatuk Roma. That's a good ball. Josh Rotterfield doesn't have uh, the sort of express pace to keep uh, up with it, though. Akale. Kawa, Lemix. Akin Kawa cuts inside one, then two. Nice ball, Bikale. Kunafia. Good shot, it's blocked. Kunafia goes and picks it up, he's got a throw in. Asking too much of uh, Bacale. Well, the New Caledonians are just hanging on here. And you wonder how much longer they can do so. It's the same story, different team in the second half. New Caledonian defense seem to be giving away the ball more cheaply uh, to the uh, Solomon Islanders. Their defense has not been what it was in the first half as a replacement. Well, part of the Romo has been withdrawn. Yeah, he's been an absent figure in the second half. to try and get a hold of the New Caledonians are struggling to keep up with him. Two hands in the back. Free kick. You know, if this was a betting time, I would I would place a wager on Dunstan Kanafia ending up with one of the only OFC Champions League teams. 
in the near future. And can tell up. No penalty. They were looking for something from the referee. They weren't going to get it. Alan Peter. Well, again, getting stretched, and this is where the Solomons are going to be vulnerable to counter attacks. They're throwing so much into trying to crack this New Caledonian defence for a second time that they're leaving themselves just a bit vulnerable in the middle of the park. Have another free kick. wonder where was the Italian physical play they're getting a bit over physical in this game in the second half as the pressure mounts on them from the Solomon Islanders of uh, relentless attack by the Solomons. They've been rewarded with the goal. But do they have enough energy in the legs to find a second? The New Caledonia have enough to survive this onslaught and perhaps uh, pinch a second of their own. Goodness knows both teams need to win. Show is over. Just uh, going through the fixture list for them. New Caledonia has played Fiji and Vanuatu. Solomons have played Vanuatu and they have Fiji remaining. If both are going out of the tournament, it would be a very interesting scenario come match day five if things are not decided on match day four. Oh, <laughs> goodness me. <laughs> That's, that seems so far away, but you're quite right. <laughs> teams are out of the tournament they just want to finish off their games but it's all about the nation's pride well, if we cast our minds back to the champions league when as Piero played by takari they only needed a draw to both go through and we all saw what happened then Auckland city were cooked yep. and uh, they are the champions as we sit here well, one of these two teams need a goal right now and they need it and they need the Available, available three points that's on offer in this game. One inch will not do them any any good. No, and I don't mean to put the mockers on Fiji, but if they were to lose to Vanuatu, yeah, I mean, lose to the Solomons. Solomon. Because with the Solomons, they want to go out of the tournament in a high, and they do. Uh, if they do go down, Fiji with that high flying start that they've had, if they do go down to Vanuatu on Thursday. They lose to the Solomons, but what could be the team laughing all the way to the Trinity World Cup in New Zealand? Stay tuned, folks. There's so much uh, drama to unfold.
Dale. Just a reminder that uh, coming up next at 7.30 p.m. local time, American Samoa, up against Vanuatu. I'm sure fans in Fiji will be uh, interested to see whether or not tournament minnows can cause some type of an upset. have a direct implication on the Fiji's tournament hopes. So Alan Yukene, who started in the first game, is coming on for Rafael Oiramont. So positive substitution from uh, Kamali Fitzliata. Yukene, very physical player. Lots of confrontation, lots of tussle. Speaking of a scenario here, Gordon, <laughs> 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 if this game ends in this, uh, the, the result is thin, so one or draw, we tick Sol Solomon Islands and Nickelodeonia out of the tournament. If American Samoa goes down to Vanuatu, I know a lot of people will be saying you're know, talking too early. Uh, they can be the create an upset later on. But if they do, they go out of the tournament. And you've got left with only three teams, PNG, Vanuatu, and Fiji, to battle it out. Now, based on uh, the discussion I had with Winston Roof, the Papua New Guinea coach, he feels his team are gone. Mango's missed it. Chance! <laughs> New Caledonia <laughs> have struck in Joseph Atale. <laughs> Angry scenes in the penalty area. The Solomon Islands. I can't believe it. They've been vulnerable to aerial balls into the box throughout this event. Philip Mango came to punch. He didn't connect, and Joseph Atale had an empty net to put the ball in. And he didn't stand on ceremony. What does that do to the calculations? <laughs> uh, yeah, now with about nine minutes to go in this one, Nicaldonia will be on three. We'll have to tick out Solomon Islands, the first team out of this tournament, uh, Gordy. And then based on the result later on tonight, we'll be able to tell if American Samoa is still in contention. Well, if things stay as they are, Nicaldonia will go from sixth in the table to fourth. And they'll be one point behind Papua New Guinea and Vanuatu who have a game in hand. And for Fiji, who are top of the table, this is a, a good happening. A good happening. And if you look at it, if this is the result that stands in the next one, I see it, anything can happen. But if American Samoa do not put up a repeat performance and go down to Vanuatu, they and Solomon Islands meet on match day four which will be a dead rubber. And then you've got Vanuatu, Fiji, and PNG, Nicaldonia. What a two games would that be? But a lot will be at stake and known by the time Vanuatu and Fiji finish off. <laughs> Philip Mango, again. Yes, you have to say. Uh, must go down as a goalkeeper error. <laughs> down to 10 players, Solomon Islands. Looks like Patrick Bonobo is the player who's uh, getting medical attention. <laughs> Timothy Bacale trying to find a way through. Solomon Islands body language has just, you know, just gone rather flat. Understandably, but they've got time to feel sorry for themselves. They need to get back into this game. Oh, and it's really ended up in the back of the net again. But Thomas Schmidt saves the blushes of his skipper. He's had a superb match on New Caledonia. Look at this. The Carles cross was a good one. Off the knees of the skipper. Thomas Schmidt hardly had a moment to react. 
Oh, and they can finish it off here. Good save by Mango. He redeems himself. I tell you what, that would have been game over for Solomons. They would have been out. That had have uh, gone to the back of the net. why Carlo through the legs and one he's still going New Caledonia on the counter attack and that was offside Inside the final six minutes, uh, Commons Manapi and his team need two goals to stay in the competition. At least stay in the running for New Zealand 2015. What should they be doing? Going with just one on one at the back? Yeah. Playing a high line it, as well, I'm just noticing them on the balls in the Nicaledonia half, and they could be punished because you look at it, there's so much space there. Here we go, New Caledonia, the shot, saved by Mango. That's what it's going to be like now until the end of this match. Kenny, twice. Done that tested mango. Simon Dow is warming up for the Solomon Islands. in this match and New Caledonia have an opportunity the cross was bad well it's just a well it's a centre half coming off now on Simon Dow. So they have gone one on one at the back for Solomons. Dow still trying to find a way past. Yakino can finish it. In the OFC U20 Championship. It's the high line we spoke about, Gordon. Everyone moving forward, trying to get that second goal and look at that ball. He outmuscles the uh, defender of Alan Pira 
cuts it in, places it in. And Ikene has put Nicaldonia up 3-1. Solomons are on their way out of this tournament. Nicaldonia will be hoping the other results go their way because they are very much alive. Well, for the first time at under-20 level, New Caledonia are about to uh, register a win over the Solomon Islands at the fourth time of asking. And it seems like it was a long, long time ago, Gordon, that the Solomon Islands got back into this game and is putting all the pressure on this New Caledonian outfit. Well, football can be such a cruel game. That's a good ball. Good defending from Pierre Corma. Well, these two teams first met back in uh, February of 2001. It ended 3-0 to the Solomon Islands and how they wish they could have uh, produced a result like that tonight. They haven't been able to. Quanafia. <laughs> Runs down a cul-de-sac. God, we would not really like to see another goal scored by Nicol. Don't you? Solomons have not been as bad as the scoreline suggests right now. No, it's... Uh, well, it will sound strange to describe it this way, but uh, it's purely circumstance. They got themselves into a bit of a fix needing to win the game, needing to score goals, which they hadn't done. Oh, good save by Schmidt. What brave goalkeeping by him. Excellent ball into the box, and the goalkeeper got his right glove on it. It's a corner for the Solomons, but Schmidt's going to need medical attention. Three minutes of additional time minimum to be played. Let's not forget, Indra, as well, that for New Caledonia, winning is one thing, but winning by a number of goals is also important for their goal difference. They started uh, this match with a negative three goal difference. They're going to end it, presumably, with uh, minus one. And if you look further up the ladder, Fiji have got plus nine, and they haven't conceded any. So that could well come into play. looking Solomon Islands bench there is the Nickelodeon goalkeeper Thomas Schmidt what a game he has had saved them on numerous occasions the goal that went in from the Solomon Islands nothing much he could do about as Atkin Kawa slammed it in the first save was brilliant he didn't have cover on the line to save that shot by Atkin at that stage we thought the Solomon Islands were back in it and they did dominate for the next 10 minutes or so but then Nickelodeon hit them on the counter and have hammered in two goals taken short Kawa has a shot, free header for Kwanafia and he's unable to get over the top of the ball, get it on target and that really has summed up the campaign so far for the Solomons. I wonder what sort of communication he got from his teammate behind him who was in a better position to see the flight of the ball. It's been an entertaining game though for us to describe for the viewers. Most enjoyable. New Caledonia still alive in the chase for the FIFA Under-20 World Cup qualifying berth and this OFC Under-20 championship title. Kari. Samani. There it is. It's all over. New Caledonia have prevailed by three goals to one. 
And on the balance of things, they've thoroughly deserved their result, their victory, that ensures that uh, at least for the next two games, they have an interest in what uh, happens in this tournament. Let's look at the highlights of an intriguing second half. Yeah, got in the 51st minute. The Solomon Islands came out firing for the block. Gnafia again tries his luck, but too close to Schmitz. Takes it easily as we see him turning away, looks up. I like this player because he looks up and then he drives. But the final ball should have been away from Schmitz. 62nd minute again, Mikkel De, uh, the Solomon Islands rather try the luck on the far side. Taking a corner and then the ball played in. That's a great cross, by the way, by uh, Alan Peter. They've been playing that centre half. Look at that, measured it. Yep. All you need to do is just get your head on it, and it's in the back of the net. That's good. Carl couldn't get at the end of it. 65th, and this is where it comes. Bakale plays it through. Nafia coming through. Great save by Schmitz, but the follow up was great by Atkin Kawa. He started it, he finished it off. Look at the shot. Great save. There's no one on the line, no defender. It's too late for them to come in, and Atkin Kawa equalizes. At that stage, we thought the Solomon Islanders were backing it because they dominated. They dominated the next 10, your know, audience has mentioned earlier. 68th minute, as we watch them, trying their best to get that second to keep themselves in the tournament. Long range effort, punched away by Schmitz. And then the final attempt, or the follow-up attempt, weak attempt by the Solomon Islanders. I really like this goalkeeper, Thomas Schmidt. I think he's uh, really stood up. It's well worth a start in the next match for New Caledonia. And then here was the moment. Joseph Atale firing into an empty net after the mistake by Philip Mango came to punch. He missed it completely. And uh, nobody marking Joseph Atale. He doesn't miss from that sort of range. 2-1 for New Caledonia. And then 87th minute got here. He can, he just kills it here. As we see, Pia Coma plays a brilliant ball here, out muscles the defense, and then turns in, places it, the replacement. And this time he got the better of Alan Peter, who has had a good game. Kenny, there you go, cuts it in, and too much power for Philip Mango to deal with it. 3-1 at that stage, that was it. Game over for the new Solomon Islanders. Nickeldon is still alive. Solomon Islanders <laughs> say bye to the tournament. Let's uh, go sideline now with uh, Tia Soaki, who's with Gideon Omikirio. Gideon, um, all the boys play well, but no such producive no, result where you need him this evening. That's right. Um, time we will come inside the game. We will hope for winning this fella game after uh, missing all the chances lo the previous games. We will think for come and try to score them goals. But uh, unfortunately, it has not happened also what we will also think him for doing. Okay, Team Blay, you got him stuck on nice chances, but what do you think him have go wrong the field? Uh, just the uh, technique and right position where we will be able for connecting ball inside the net, but it has not happened also what we will practice him. Okay, Gideon, uh, you got him two loss and one draw this time. Um, American Samoa next. What na plan do you for next game? By me fella, take him every game. Awesome, uh, uh, usual game plan, blue me fella. But uh, by me will work more on scoring. Scoring, especially me will miss him throughout three fella games where me will lose him. Yeah? Uh, me will by work very strong low scoring, low trainings, blue me fella. And how do you think if New Caledonia performed today? What a very determined for win today. That's why I want to get them result from me, fella. But uh, uh, me always see what a good luck, lo, what a pre what games blow out ahead. Okay, thank you, Gideon. Good luck. Thank you. That up quite uh, nicely there. That uh, lack of goal scoring has cost his side. Uh, we can get now the comments from Kimali Fitia Liata. Félicitations, Kamali. Euh, finalement, un match gagné pour les Nouvelle-Calédonie. Vous êtes euh, contente avec... Euh, <rire> ça, ça soulage. Enfin, franchement, ça soulage, ça fait du bien. Et je pense que ça s'est vu euh, à la fin avec euh, la réaction des garçons. Mais euh, avant tout ça, j'aimerais quand même féliciter l'équipe des Salomon. Je pense que c'est peut-être l'une des plus belles équipes euh, qui sait faire courir, faire vivre. Euh, le, le ballon, euh, c'est regrettable que voilà qu on, que, que l'on gagne contre eux, mais bon voilà, il faut bien un gagnant et un perdant. Aujourd'hui c'est nous euh, et tant mieux pour les garçons. Euh, Qu'est-ce que vous pensez quand les Solomon sont égalisés 
Euh, je vous avoue, j'ai eu très très peur. J'ai eu très très peur. Je pensais qu'on qu allait lâcher, mais on savait qu'ils étaient fatigués. Je pense que euh, voilà, la compétition, elle est longue. Un match tous les deux jours, c'est très dur. Euh, je pense que c'est l'équipe qui va récupérer la mieux, qui, qui sera très bien euh, mentalement, qui, qui pourra faire quelque chose. Euh. Voilà, mais je, je savais que l'équipe de Salomon, ils allaient baisser un peu de, physiquement, donc euh, on, on pouvait compter un peu là-dessus. Et euh, prochain match, c'est le PNG. Euh, comment vous approchez ça on va, on va disséquer un peu leur match. On a commencé à travailler là-dessus, donc euh, on, va, on va mettre quelque chose en place. Euh, et on va les attendre, comme euh, là on a fait ce soir. Merci, Cam. Merci. So confirmation then of the result, New Caledonia have beaten the Solomon Islands by three goals to one. So coming up uh, in half an hour's time is the match between American Samoa and Vanuatu. I'm Gordon Watson and on behalf of my co-commentator Indra Singh, we'll wish you a very good evening. Don't go too far away, I'll be calling the game next with uh, Jack Will and Tranban in half an hour's time. Take care and see you again very shortly.